I thought I'd do a video on the final configuration for the base. This is obviously minus the bones and accessories and bits and pieces that are going on top of it in terms of fire and all that sort of stuff. So this is kind of a what's under the hood version. So you can pretty much see how it goes together. The biggest difference is since the last video, you can see I've put a vent over the computer fan so that it hides it a little bit more. The other difference now is that I've incorporated a trapdoor system, which is pretty well hidden. What I've discovered when I've been working with the silicon is that as it goes off, as the pot life sort of runs out, it becomes very lumpy, which is exactly like the original effect that I went for on the base. So what I've done is mix up some of the silicon and added a black tint to it. You can see it's still very, very shiny, um, but with a, a spray paint of flat black over it, it takes a lot of that shine out of it. And when the final base stuff goes on, it'll actually cover everything up. So the trap door, I'm hoping you really can't see it, has been done so that it has an overlapping edge of the rubbery silicon so that when that trap door opens up, it opens up in two stages. That back one comes off altogether because that has a feeder hose that feeds the water tank underneath. And then the second trap door, the reason why, this one I'm not bothered with because all the fake timber and stuff and everything else is going to cover that up completely so there's no issue with that at all. But the seam down the side here is the bit that I actually wanted to hide. So you can see that when that closes over, it hides that join altogether. The other thing that hides really nicely are the hinges that are on the back side here. So again there's a seam line that runs along here, I can't even see it myself roughly, there it is. Okay, and at either end, that end there and that end there, there's just a regular pair of hinges that have been hidden underneath the silicon as well. I didn't like the idea of the thing being plugged in and being on constantly, so I've incorporated um, two switches at the front that are again disguised and sort of camouflaged into the base material. The way I've positioned the switches so I can actually keep track of them is by using this central bolt that's actually here. If I draw a centre line down here you can probably see there's a little bit of a bump or raise in the material and again that's very rubbery because it's made from the silicon. And once the switches were installed, I actually placed a piece of silicon over the top of the switches to protect them so that when the top coat went on, it didn't interfere with the mechanism. And then when I put the top coat on, uh, again, I let the pot life go a bit bad so that the, the motliness of the, the texture would go into hiding the switches. So we've got one there. That's the primary switch. The primary switch uh, controls everything. So all the lights, the fan, the fire mechanism and everything else is all controlled by the one primary switch. The secondary switch is one, in, again in a straight line directly behind that, um, is for just the fire. So that the fire can be turned off and the base still operates independently of the fire. Underneath what I've created is a stainless steel reservoir. Uh, on the inside towards the back there's a float switch so that when the float drops to a certain level it cuts the power to the lights, the fan and the mister unit inside which means I'm not going to have any burnout issues and it also shows me that when the water drops to a certain level uh, everything obviously turns off and I know that it needs to be topped up. And based on the drop of water level that's generated by the mister unit uh, I estimate that that should give me around about 36 hours of continuous use. Now I don't really intend to use it for that length of time uh, but it just means that I'm not going to have to be topping it up every time I use it as well. And again, when the lights go out, I simply know that it needs to be topped up.